Okay guys, these are gonna be the grip breaks for when my leg is across his body. When I'm in spider -Man. This is not what I'm here. This is different. This is a different position. This is another, and connect your hands, entirely different position. If I had my leg come across here and he turned up into me, this now is a very dangerous triangle position. Connect your hands, buddy. You know what I mean? So I can start switching. It's one of my favorite crucifixes, okay? So I'm not talking about when I have my shin in. When I have my leg over, my shin over his body, and normally I'm gripped up, spider webbed up, whatever, I'm holding the leg. For now, we're just gonna talk so you guys can understand this. If he has a rear naked choke grip with the leg underneath the, in, the inside of the arm, there's several things you can do. What we talked about today uh, was the D-bag, douchebag, stomping on his neck, okay? So I have my hand on the hip, don't let it come to here. I'm elbow crook to elbow crook like this. My hand's on the hip. And I'm reaching through and I grab the other, the other leg. A lot of the times I like to put it across like this, like navy rod, and I'll cock to the side. When I cock to the side, I'm already putting tension on his arm. So because I can't grab his top arm, I can stomp on the inside of his neck. And then when I feel my opponent lose the grip, I'll put my leg back over his head and hip in through the arm. If not, he'll lose, he can actually lose consciousness from that position. Again, so he's got his arm underneath my leg, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I stomp on his neck, turn the throat out so that I have my toes and heels on either side of his neck and not just the heel on his throat. It loosens, I go back over his head and I have the arm bar. Let's say he has this arm over the top this way, right? Over the top this way. This means I can grab it before I couldn't grab it. So I'll reach through, grab sometimes the palm, sometimes it's the wrist, and I can get it wherever, but for sure it's the palm, okay? Then I'm gonna pull that away. This hand now comes to my shoulder, his arm's loose, and I'll go to stomping his head. I'll separate, arm bar, boom, and I got the lock. I will feel hold. So I'm here, boom, I reach through, grab, pull, stomp the head, arm bar. If he's like this grip, okay, turn. If he's like this grip, there's many things I can do. But if I have a choice, I'm always gonna use this foot first. Stomping, putting my foot in, or trying to come out and trying to. Because while this leg is across, different than here, right? We talked about that. If he stacks into me while he's here, I can triangle him. If I have my leg across and I put this one through first, I no longer have head really control and he can come up and my legs are funky and he can stack me, okay? So I prefer to control his head with my hamstring or sometimes my ankles are crossed. It depends on how I'm trying to sit up a little bit, buddy. Kicking his head away, sometimes my hamstring different variations of what my legs could be doing, but my leg is always across the body in any variation of this, right? You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to pass the, the, the head side. I want to control the head is what I'm saying. I would rather use my heel, stop, sometimes it slaps you, right? And stop, shake, go back to the arm bar. Notice when I push, when I push, I can take my foot off or I can hold the arm as well too, and I have the arm bar. Controlling his thumb facing the sky, through my elbow grip with the wrist, hand on the wrist. Okay, blocking his defense. Okay, so like if I did that, I heel stomp and then I shake. Anytime I want to break a grip, like I mentioned a lot, I shake the tree. Shake, 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 shake. Now when I break a chain, that's how I want to break it. Shake, 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 shake. I don't want to just go on a chain. I want to snap, 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 right? So it's the same thing with the tension on your muscle groups. Okay, same tension happens on your muscle groups and they break open and shake. So I don't use any energy. That being said, I pump on my foot through, I have the triangle. I can even bait him into the triangle by switching, he turns in, I can lock the triangle, and I have an arm bar and a triangle, right? Go back. But that didn't break his grip, and we're not talking about the triangle, we're talking about grip breaks, okay? So, still, I use this foot first, maybe he clamps down, or I just like to use this grip break. I take my other foot and I come across up high, and then I bring it over and I lock it on his biceps. So now I have two feet on his biceps, this again, this one's gonna slap me, and I do that shake, shake, shake again. There you go, and I keep it there, trying to turn it into me and stack me, buddy. So I keep that opposite side pressure. Even though I'm still holding the leg, and I'm here, okay? So again, when my leg's across the body, I fight with that leg when he's like this. When he's arm triangled up, that way, now I can fight with this one. I can't get my foot inside here. It's too small. You got classic grip breaks like that and stuff, but I'm just talking foot fight right now. Here, boom, right, on top, 
Same as right here, thumb. Okay, but I'm doing it through this. I can even bring my knee to me. Grab it and kick him away. See what I'm saying? All right, and then what else we got? Uh, double. Yeah, we were doing the toe hold. We'll save that for another video. Kicking, shaking, ah, arm bar. Okay, but through X up top, bring it over. So a lot of people, you're gonna tighten your hand to your chest, buddy. So I, if he's real tight, I can't actually get my leg all the way over here first. So I stick it in up top, and then I go over my shin. Shake, 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 shake. Shake your booty. Perfect. 